Neopunk FM. We're your sick boy, Rari, the legend. First question I have for you. Do you feel like your work is being received the way that you want it to be received? Because I know there's been a lot of things in the past where you might have said, oh, you know, like I haven't got my flowers here or like, I, you know, I feel like someone you know, kind of stole my swag from me. Do you feel like, you know, you're getting like the, the proper treatment now? Right, well, honey, uh, see, like before, like, I used to feel like that. But now, like, I don't even care no more. I like, I kind of like, I kind of fuck with it. You know, I kind of look at it like a different, like a different aspect now. You feel me? Back in the day, I was looking at it like that. But now I'm like, shit, at least, you know, it just shows like influence. You feel me? So, yeah, I appreciate it. You know? Hell yeah. What can you tell us about working out the mud slash tread era type beats? <laughs> shit, shit was crazy, yo. For real. Shout out Auntie OK, K Booty Chain, you know what I'm saying? For coming up with the name, yo. For real. It was a very legendary time period, yo. We all was just like kicking, kicking it together every day. Sleeping over, you feel me? Just making hella hits, yo. Just going crazy. Just real trash shit. Really just running, yo. Just running it out. <laughs> Do you feel like a lot of people are, like, taking inspo from that nowadays? Like, it just, you know? Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah, for sure, yo. Most definitely. Most definitely. I feel like it was definitely ahead of time, for sure. Yeah. My brother, 100 mil right here. <laughs> there we go. 100, man. Let's go. Yeah, you already know. I didn't mean to interrupt. Yeah, keep on going. I just had to step up for a no, second. Yeah, How much of an influence was uh, Bam Margera and CKY on you growing up? Shit, like, not too much, but I fuck with them, though, because I watch them on TV and shit. But, like, not too much, not too much of an influence, though. Yeah, but shout out to shout out to them though. So, what are your thoughts on Little B nowadays versus when he was really coming up and changing the game in the rap scene? Oh uh, shit! Shout out Little B. He going crazy. I fuck with the new swag and the sound. Yeah, for sure. Definitely influential for sure. Do you feel like kids are receiving uh, like the whole bass thing in a in an interesting way, like a different way versus them when they were back then? Uh, you mean like in today's song? Yeah. Oh uh, shit. That's a good question, bro. I really don't know. That's a good question, though. For sure. I don't know, man. <laughs> you have a lot of dove imagery in your music and visuals. Uh, what does it re- mean to you? What does it represent? Shit. Just peace. Peace and war. Love. All three. Your fan base has really grown because of the internet and online culture. Do you think it was for the best? Like like TikTok recently and stuff like that? <laughs> I'm going to keep it real. Like, I didn't even realize the impact. Or I don't even know to us. I still don't even know to a certain extent. Uh, like what's even going on like as far as like how big it is on TikTok and etc but I hear about it my people tell me about it and shit so I think it's cool yo I fuck with the youth yo and I appreciate them for sure so yeah hell yeah do you think you were ahead of the curb on the Y2K aesthetic really being popular now because there's like a whole huge revival like everybody's doing Y2K this Y2K that but you know low key low key what are some artists that you put on your top 8 on MySpace back in the day Top artist, Lil B was definitely on there. Lil B, shit. OJ the Juice Man. Yeah, Juice Man for so. Fucking Gucci Man, Walker Flocka, uh, Outkast. Um, yeah, Russell. I don't know, bro. Plenty more for so. <laughs> Hell yes. Oh yeah, Go Go for sure, Go Go. And shout out, yeah, for so. Shout out Powerhouse Entertainment too. Shout out Roddy Rod. He's at Roddy Rod. So yeah, exactly. society. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you think is the future of rap? Man, that's a great question, bro. I really don't know for real, because it's shit, it evolves so much. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I'm not gonna front. I feel like it needs to evolve somewhere because it's, it's kind of crazy right now. Like, you know, a lot of a lot of like shit. A lot of good shit going on, positive, but also like a lot of like negative shit going on too as well. Compared to like 10, 10, 12 years ago and shit, I feel like it was more like, more, I don't know. It's a good question, bro, but I don't know, man. Would you say now versus back then, the internet is better or worse? <laughs> worse. Why is that? It's just like, it's just crazy. And I feel like, I don't know, bro. It just seemed like more toxic nowadays than like compared to like back in the day for sure. And like it was more fun back in the day. They had more fun being online and shit. And like compared to now, I feel like back in the day it was like more like an exclusivity. Now I feel like the whole world, like everybody knew mama on there. Well, yeah, another thing too, and it was way more easier to like to like download shit to like to get hot shit. Now you got to pay for everything, bro. I could like download hella movies. It was like rare videos on YouTube back in the day that's like gone. Like the search engine, the search engine is fucked up. The search engine is trash. Like yeah, I'm not really rocking with it. 
Last question. Is there anything you want to say out there to the youth? Man, shout out to the youth, y'all. Like, keep going hard. Keep doing your thing. Respect your elders, your parents, y'all. Love your people, y'all. Don't take nothing for granted. And don't crash out, for sure. Wonderful. It was a real honor being with you today, man. God bless. Golf money. Golf, golf. That's <laughs> good.